In order to understand how your title block integration works with sheet sets, you have to understand the functionality of the template. Let's look at the properties of our sheet set, and we can see that there are certain integrated blocks, one of them being the drawing title, another being called a callout bubble. And these blocks reside within these template files. It turns out they're the same here for both. They could be different, and I've chosen to store them in my project folder where all my drawings and sheet set data resides as well. Now, every time that I go to create a new sheet in the sheet set, as we see here, this template file will be used to generate the new drawing and layout. So therefore, my title block or anything that I want to have integrated to my sheet set properties have to reside within this template. So let's see how that looks. Please note down here that we have a few linked attributes in our title block, and let's see how that looks actually over in the template file, which we'll go ahead and open here. What we see is that we have attribute tags. Now let's investigate how those are actually integrated. Now what I like to use is the function Batman, and that allows me to look at my title block here and see the kinds of attributes that live inside of it. And these are the same attribute tags that we see over here. So how do we make sure that say this attribute, which shows us the sheet number, is actually intelligently linked to the sheet set value, which we see over here? Well, let's just go ahead and click on that. And what we can see here, and this is a dead giveaway, is that in the tag and the prompting here, we see a default value. Please notice how that is highlighted. That is not static text, that is what is called a field. So if you've never experimented with the AutoCAD field command, it, it would be good to look at the help files on that. You could get acquainted with it. We'll just simply double click here. And what we'll see is that the field is being drawn from our sheet set fields. And we see that we have a field name reserved that is called the current sheet number. So this current sheet number is simply providing a pipeline from this attribute over here in our title block to this property over here in our sheet set. We have some formatting functionality here where we can force it to be uppercase. So that way, if somebody entered something in lowercase over here, it would still show in uppercase in the title block. That's it in a nutshell. As you create your attributed title blocks, in order to get them linked, rather than putting in manually typed in data, you insert a field and you make sure to use the sheet set category here in order to get that set. Fields are the magic integrator that allows the attribute to talk back to the sheet set. And that's going to be the answer to making your title blocks integrate properly. To test your title block integration, you should run through one last operation, which is to go back to the sheet set and create a new sheet. What I've done here is just set up a A06 sheet, which we'll append onto the end of here, and given it a test sheet for title block title, we'll go ahead and press OK to that, let the system create our sheet for us, and then we can open it. And what we'll see now is we'll zoom in on the corner of our title block and just make sure that everything in fact did integrate. And it did. Now, it's important to note, this is the only way you can really test the title block that was built into your template, because without being a member of the sheet set, there's no way for this attribute to link to the sheet set properties. So just create a new sheet to do your testing. Go back and forth through this process until you get the hang of it. Once you've got it, you've got it, and you'll have perfectly integrated title blocks.